it's a great day to do some camp oven cooking. Beautiful out here in Escalante. I stopped by the uh, local grocery store in town this morning uh, looking for something to cook. I wasn't sure what I was going to get and they had a uh, cooler full of some beef from Kanab. I'm, I'm sorry, I think it's Kanab Custom Meats. And uh, so this is a, a roast. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to make a pot roast in the uh, camp oven there. Go ahead and get this guy opened up and uh, we'll do sort of a, it'll probably be like a long cook. I expect two or three hours in the oven. So we'll go ahead and get the roast cooking in for a little while before we add some vegetables. Now I'm just gonna do it right here in the fire ring. This is from last night's cooked where we, uh, I made the A-bomb taco stack for Abby last night. So I'll, I'll give you some highlights of this little cook. I'm looking forward to it. This is such a nice, beautiful, quiet place right here. I'm gonna enjoy it. All right, there's the roast, lightly oiled and seasoned. Got some oil, olive oil in the uh, 12 inch lodge there. We're gonna go ahead and uh, brown it on all sides first. I'm gonna make up some uh, beef gravy to go with it. This stuff right here, I'm gonna make that up and uh, pour that in there for the, for the long cook. We got the roast brown on all sides there, got, got it to heat off. So mixed up some of the uh, beef gravy. I did add a little bit more of my beef seasoning onto the roast there. That cast iron is just still a little hot. But we're gonna light up some uh, charcoal and move this over to the fire pit and let it start cooking in. You got eight coals down there on the plate. That's just one of my deflector plates and I got it sitting on uh, three rocks there. We'll go ahead and um, we'll go ahead and get our pot on. Just trying to make sure it's nice and even. Spread those out <clears throat> evenly on there and we'll uh, start our cook. We're gonna go about an hour. I'll fire up some more charcoal and after an hour, I'm gonna dump my uh, potatoes in there or vegetables, I mean. It's been a little while since I've done a uh, beef pot roast in the, uh, in the camp oven here, but it's kind of cooking is usually pretty simple. Kind of hard to screw it up. It should cook in just fine. What we did was uh, Went with one ring of charcoal on the top. At the bottom, I've got eight. And I just used the, uh, the holes that I have burned in that plate to just kind of, you know, make it a, uh, an even ring on the bottom, equally spaced. And then the extra charcoal that I had, I've got them just kind of dumped around the outside, just kind of help create a little bit more heat around the side, this area here. So like I said, we'll go about an hour on this. We're, <clears throat> we're cooking outside. It's a little bit breezy out here, a little bit windy at times. So that wind helps uh, burn these charcoal down pretty quick when you're cooking with a camp oven like this outdoors. So we'll have another batch uh, lit off in an hour. And at that point, I'll go ahead and dump in the vegetables and then let them start cooking in too. So I was expecting to be cooking this for... Uh, uh, two and a half, three hours, maybe something like that. We've been cooking for about 40 minutes now. Let's go ahead and give it a peek and see how it's doing. I can certainly smell it. It smells really good. 
looking good, simmering in nice. Go ahead and turn this again. I'm gonna go ahead and start the next batch of charcoal. You can see, see, gotta go ahead and get some more on there. In about 20 minutes or so when they get hot, we'll uh, change those out and then we'll add our vegetables. All right, so it's been about an hour. There's our veggies that we're going in there, carrots, potatoes, and onions, oiled with a little bit of seasoning, just the, uh, the typical veggies. We've got some charcoal hot, ready to go. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and let's move the, uh, I'm gonna move the pot off out of the way. We've got these handy stumps here that we can use, just like that. And let me see. I'm going to go ahead and knock these guys off out of the way. And let me go ahead. I'm, I want to dump these and uh, then we'll come back and add the veggies. All right, we've got the, uh, the new, the uh, fresh charcoal under the bottom there. Actually, I need to move it just a little bit. There we go. Move our lid. All right, we've got our veggies. There we go. All right, and then we're gonna we'll put our lid back on. And then one ring of hot coals around the lid there. All right, so there we go. Fresh ring of charcoal there. Just one even ring on the top, and I have uh, actually uh, switched it to six on the bottom. I originally had eight, and it was a little bit too hot, so I got six car six charcoal on the bottom, and I believe I counted it 18 there on the top there. So we're going to let that cook. I'm going to go for another two hours and let that try to let that roast get nice and tender, and I'll show you guys how it how it comes out at the end. So we're going to kick back, enjoy the uh, sun starting to go down some. Abby's been inside working. She's going to come out and we're going to probably have us a couple of beers and just enjoy this beautiful scenery here at uh, Escalante. So come back and show you what the roast looks like later. All right, this thing's been cooking for three hours and it should be ready to pull. Whether it's done or not, I know it's done, but we're just, we're ready to eat. It's getting late. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. it smells good, don't it? Yes. You can amazing. smell it just coming out of that lid. There we go. Oh, it looks ready. It looks perfect. Yep. It, that is ready to go. Three hours cooked. We are gonna go ahead and pull this guy off and uh, serve it up, see how it is. It's gonna be awesome. All right, well, it's time to serve up this pot roast and uh, see how it is. Hopefully it's gonna be delicious. It will be. It should be. <laughs> it smells awesome. It smells so good. That's one of the great things about camp oven cooking like that right there. Hanging around, we're hanging around the camp. You can smell the aromas of this as it's like cooking out there. It's just. And this is. A beautiful place. A beautiful place. All right, well, I'm ready to try this. So let's serve up a little bit. Falls apart, huh? 
Well, it's it's tender, definitely. It's not the same as cooking a pot roast in a crock pot for eight hours. hours. Yeah. But for a meal at a camp, three hours is plenty right there. Some of the veggies. So this smells excellent. You're gonna give us a taste? Yep, I wanna give it a little taste and see how it is. But it is tender there, the, uh, well, the fork was cutting it. There we go. <laughs> This is gonna be really hot though. Yes. Mmm. I got that little end piece right there. Good. Very enough, good. Enough time. Mmm. It's very good. Here, let me use this other fork mm -hmm. that I gave you. It's good. Let me see if the uh, taters are done. Mm-hmm. Nice and hot. Real hot, yep. Mm-hmm. Carrot. Yep. Onions. Perfect. That's good. Oh yeah. Yeah. There's the onion. Mm. All right, I'm gonna turn this off so I can also eat. Yep. Because yeah. It's good. It's delicious. It was awesome finding this uh, piece of beef here in town in Escalante today at the market, and making a nice cook out here in such a beautiful place. Yes. So it's delicious. We're gonna go eat our meal. See ya.